Much like the first original Rodecaster Pro, the Rodecaster Pro 2 can also attach Bluetooth devices. Now there's different kinds of devices though that you can connect because not only now can you connect uh, devices such as phones and tablets and computer systems via Bluetooth so that you can send audio from that device to the Rodecaster Pro 2, but you can also connect speakers and other output devices that receive so that the Rodecaster Pro 2 can now become the transmitter. So let's see how to connect a Bluetooth device to your Rodecaster Pro 2. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to click on settings and then go over into system and then Bluetooth. Once you're there, you want to go into the settings menu on your phone and you want to go over to Bluetooth and scroll down to the bottom. Now this is on an iPhone. You want to scroll all the way down until you see the Rodecaster Pro 2. Once you've gotten that, you're going to head, uh, click on the actual device and in a second, it's going to ask you to, let's see, it's going to ask you to pair it. So you can see here the numbers are the same, so we're going to go ahead and hit pair and that's it. So now the phone is connected to the Rodecaster Pro 2. If you ever wanted to forget it, you can go in here and click on uh, forget or even disconnect because sometimes you don't want to forget it, but you want to disconnect it because your audio is always going to be going to the Rodecaster Pro 2. You can either disconnect it from here or disconnect it from the actual Rodecaster Pro 2. So now once those two items are connected, you have to make sure that you have the Bluetooth channel on one of your physical faders. So let's take a look here. I know that Bluetooth is on a virtual channel here, right? So I'm going to go closer. It's on a virtual channel. So I can go ahead and adjust that virtual channel by going up and down here, um, or I can move that to a physical uh, fader here. So if I wanted to move that to a physical fader, remember, I can change these. So since I've got this last one over here, and this guy here is on, you can see here, um, oh, actually, no, sorry. This one is on USB main one. So let's say I don't want USB main one. I want to turn this one into the Bluetooth channel. So I'm going to go to this setting over here, and I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to change that over to Bluetooth. Now, when I hit the save, it's going to say, do you, want, do you want to reassign this? The answer is yes, I do want to reassign it. So now this has kind of gone blue, and you can see here my Bluetooth channel is uh, now adjustable. Now, you can see here the screen here is actually dynamically changed. It's now inputs one, two, three, four, and where's the, you know, five, six, seven, eight, and where's the ninth? It's gone because the I'm only using two virtual channels. And so uh, it doesn't need to have those on the screen taking up space. So if you want to go ahead and change the sound pads um, or the actual, this is USB 2, the secondary channel, then you can go ahead and hit that and adjust that with the uh, rotary encoder. But now Bluetooth here is set on this actual slider here. So I'm going to go over to my phone and I'm going to go over to YouTube and I'm going to see what happens here. So if I go... More See, now you can I actually hear. Let me put my headset on. In the short on. video that I released uh, on Tuesday, I think, <laughs> Tuesday. And That's right. So you can now hear Luria's audio going through the Rodecaster Pro 2. And that's because I'm, tell you what it means to you I'm playing as a this video. Creator. We're have some and so therefore, you will see that move. So if I want to lower that volume, Real talk and I can just use the physical the fader. To, actually to move that up and down, right? So that's well. um, that's so essentially the... how you're going to connect your Bluetooth devices. Uh, Sorry about that. Let me hit <laughs> stop. That's how you're going to connect your Bluetooth devices uh, in terms of the input. Now on the output, that is a little bit different. That's a speaker output. So let's do that now. When setting a Bluetooth receiver to receive information from the Rodecaster Pro 2, you can send it to things like speakers um, or other devices that can record over that Bluetooth connection. Now, what I've done in my situation is I've actually output the audio from the Rodecaster Pro 2 to my ATEM Extreme using this device here. This actually is a Bluetooth receiver. And you can see here, it, this clip is actually extra. I glued the clip on, so it's really this, this little black device here. It's got the powered button here. And then you can see here on the end, you've got a three and a half millimeter uh, microphone or excuse me, headphone in, uh, jack and then a USB, uh, micro USB charging port. So this device here is just those, you know, one simple button and two uh, ports will allow me to connect this and pair this to any one of uh, the, any Bluetooth device as a receiver. 
Uh, this actually on the back end, I don't know if you could see that here, it actually says RX and TX. So right now it's set to RX, but if I wanted this to be a transmitter, I could set that to TX. I could pair both of these together if I really wanted to. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to connect my headset, so my headphones, to this device. So let's say I want to be moving out and about, right? And I've got my headset on and I want to listen to, instead of being corded to this device, I could be remote. So I could be up to 30 feet away with direct, uh, direct line of sight to this device. But let's go in and now let's connect this by Bluetooth. So we're going to go over to the uh, Roadcaster Pro 2. I'm going to click on this button here and that's going to charge up for a few seconds or boot up for a few seconds and then I'm going to double click it and that's now in receive mode so, or pairing mode. So now I'm going to go to Bluetooth system, uh, Bluetooth, and it's now searching for uh, audio devices and that's it, the Tautronics. I'm going to connect and now the Tautronics device is connected. So I can actually hear myself in my headset because all of the speaker output is coming to this. Now you could probably hear the echo because this is really loud. So I need to change this speaker. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here to output, you're going to go to monitor, and it's the fixed output level. So now I can change it. You can see the Bluetooth device. So you actually have the ability to change uh, your speaker to a line level. So you can send your speaker output to another mixer or a different device that requires a line level input, or you can send it to amplified speakers such as this one. This is an amplifi amplification unit, right? So this is going to amplify that sound. So what I've done, again, I'm going to move over here. You can see here at the top of the screen, uh, the Bluetooth symbol is on and speakers are there, right? Um, now I can change the speaker output, right? Um, and then I can go back here. If I want it to go into, excuse me, if I want it to go into, um, fixed level output, then I would do this. Now, here's one caveat. If you have speakers connected, whether they're physically connected to the any of the outputs on the back of the Rodecaster Pro 2, or you have uh, um, uh, speakers connected to Bluetooth, right? Doesn't matter what it is, if it's a speaker, not necessarily headphones per se, unless you have it on really loud, that audio can get picked up by your microphone and you're going to get this feedback loop. You do not want that feedback loop. So in order to stop that, the Rodecaster Pro 2 does not have inbuilt echo cancellation. You know, when you think about using Zoom, it's like, why can I listen to people on my speakers and use the microphone at the same time? Well, that's because Zoom is, has echo cancellation built in and echo cancellation actually requires a lot of processing power. Uh, but the Roadcaster Pro 2 doesn't have that echo cancellation. So what it does have, though, is it can output, or sorry, it could um, auto-mute any of those outputs. So auto-mute the monitor output, which is any speakers and things like that, and auto-mute the Bluetooth output. So anytime uh, your, any one of your channels are higher, it will automatically mute those sources. So let's just say, let's, let's mute both of those. You can see here at the top, they're both yellow and they have a little X on it. It's because they're muted, but you're not gonna hear me when I do this, but watch when I move when I move this channel all the way down to zero, you're gonna see these guys up here move. So let's see if we could do this. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this all the way down. And then once and the gain on your audio and then the speaker output automatically mutes. Now, if you have your Bluetooth devices and you just want to forget them on the Roadcaster Pro 2, let me just show you really quickly how to go do that. You're going to go over here into settings and you're going to go over to system and then to Bluetooth and just click on the search for audio devices. And you can see here, this is actually detecting one of my displays, but the Tautronics, which is that little Bluetooth device, it's paired. So we can just go ahead and click unpair and now that's gone. So, but if I wanted to connect it again, you can, you know, you can see here, it's, it's available, right? So that's how you will go ahead and delete any of those Bluetooth devices that you don't want any longer. Psst, did you know that you could have had access to this entire Roadcaster Pro 2 series first, like a month ago?
but you missed out because you weren't on my streaming platform called Nebula. And it's not just me, it is all my creator friends. We are putting an amazing amount of content on Nebula. Let me show you. You can see all the latest videos from all the creators on this platform. Hey, look, Epos Box! And you get original content that isn't even uploaded to YouTube from your favorite creators. You've got Nebula first, extended versions, maybe bloopers or extra additional information that you don't get on YouTube. Nebula first, things that are exclusive, early access on this platform. There's so much great stuff here. And here's the cool thing. Usually Nebula is $50, but with my exclusive link, it actually goes down to $333 a month for you. So you can find that link in the description. One thing to keep in mind is that the Roadcaster Pro 2 can only be connected to one uh, Bluetooth device uh, on a receiving and one on the transmitting. Uh, so just be careful thinking you can send it to 10 different things. You can't, you can only connect to one thing at a time.